Every 11 years, something strange happens in the Sun. The entire Sun is nothing but a huge magnet with North and South Poles. However, it's not that simple. Every 11 years, the entire magnetic field of the Sun flips from North to South. Another 11 years and the poles flip back again. This cycle of 22 years is known as the solar cycle. The number of sunspots is low at the solar minimum, while they are relatively high at the solar maximum. Surely, something must be going on inside the sun that is causing a change in activity on its surface. Although we know it's linked with the magnetic pole flip, we don't understand why it happens. In 2020, we entered the 25th solar cycle. Over the next 11 years, as the sun wakes up from its slumber, it will get stormy. This could impact our space satellites. A phenomenon called a coronal mass ejection, or CME. It's a wave of billions of tons of electrically charged particles, seen here in this repeating image as it ripples away from the eye of the storm. Together, they could hit like a cosmic tsunami. Delivering a surge of radiation and an electrical spike of trillions of watts, potentially crashing the power grid. Sound far-fetched? In March 1989, in Quebec, Canada, that's exactly what happens. One by one, power stations crash, disabled by the overwhelming power surge caused by a CME wave. In less than two minutes, six million people are left without power. That could be us. We could be next. Shit could get a lot worse than what you just saw there. Okay, that's coronal mass ejection, things that we think we know about the sun. Hits the ionosphere and all of a sudden we could be living in the dark ages again, right? The biggest solar flare could take down the entire grid and we'd be living in uh, almost in a third world country almost immediately. What would people do without the internet? Well, what am I here to talk about today? The sun. What is it? What is the sun? More than just a source of light and heat and certain other types of things, information, information encoding all of this life that's around us. Some people, like Eric P. Dollard, who's a very interesting guy, he's an electrical engineer that I just found out about, he thinks the sun is actually something different. 